Hello. In this video, I'll be showing the removal of the factory Lippert screwless window and also the installation of the AP Products Thin Shade. First things we'll need for the install are the clips, which I actually received from AP Products. Some painter's tape to hold the window in and a screwdriver to put the screws in once we get that new window shade in. So the first step is going to be get that blue tape. And I'll probably just do a couple of crisscrosses. And that's just to hold the window in when you remove the inside frame. So on the inside of the window frame, they actually have small little grooves at specific points. And that's where you put in the little white clips. You just shove them in there. Okay, then you just want to grab all your clips. And then from there, you just want to pull out the inside frame. And I'm going to do this in real time. I've never done this before. So we'll see how it goes. So as maybe you can see here, it did go in and separate the tabs to release it, but of course on some of them it didn't and they broke, which some of them I don't care because I'm just, I'm not going to ever put the other one back in, so it's not a big deal, but just something to be mindful of. For some reason the bottom clips were a lot tougher to get out 
and all the side ones came out perfectly. Okay, next up is, I assume, to remove the tape on the other side and then carefully pull it out um, without breaking it. So we'll see. Oh, that went pretty easy. Now there is some butyl tape going around the outside, so I'll have to see if the new one has that, or if I have to add my own, which I do have some. And I thought I'd quickly show you what the inside of the window, or the entry door window actually looks like as far as the foam. Show it from the outside too. And I did just notice a little bit of like a few water droplets, so I'll have to make sure I seal that up real well. Okay, thought I'd do an unboxing of the AP products. There's a thin shade while I'm out here. Make sure it's still in view. Yep. So in here is the actual shade It goes inside the window. Some screws. The inside frame, since now it'll actually have screws holding it in. And here's the new tinted glass, just like the factory. I did notice it does have some kind of a, a butyl tape or something going around the outside, so that should be fine. Um, one thing I did just notice, this is loose here, so you'll definitely want to be careful not to break that. Now I'll be installing the outside window and frame and then putting tape around it so it doesn't fall out.
So now I'm ready to put the inside frame in. And I actually have it, and other people are doing this too, but they actually have where, nice. So it'll actually roll up from the bottom instead of rolling down from the top. So then you can have more privacy where people standing on the stairs wouldn't actually be able to see you, but you can still have some light coming through the top. And after the video, or after the install, I will show how that works. So since the window shade kept wanting to fall out at me, I just went ahead and got that inside the track and then put in four screws around it. Just kind of get things started. So here's the completed product with all the screws in. And the shade, which I noticed it doesn't like to go up very much because it kind of, like anything else, when you try to push up on it, it kind of torques it, I guess you could say. But then when you lower it, you can obviously just push right down on the center. So it'll work. I don't think we're gonna be you know, raising and lowering it all the time. So if we go inside. And I still gotta get that tape off of there, but I'll do that later. And get some light in here. So there you have it. You can actually see out that entry door window which we're gonna love. And it's tinted, just like the other factory frameless windows, so it's uh, gonna be a lot darker. And then the other thing, I guess you could say negative on this one, is you actually do have to open up the outside door to lower and raise the shade. Because you obviously can't go inside the screen here or even down here. And they do make one with a little handle that sticks down, but it's like double the price. This one was in the 67 range. Uh, the one with the handle is about 120, 130. So I would just have to disconnect this. You know, raise, raise it up. And then that uh, one thing I was talking to you about, As far as some of the privacy, if it came from the bottom, if you had it raised up a little bit, people on the ground or on the stairs would be able to see you. But this way, no one's going to be able to see in, but we still have a little peephole. And it'll still let in some light if we want it. And I also want to compare between the new entry door shade the factory shade and then also this one over here by the sink the uh, I don't know, plastic this one over here is that uh, accordion style with the cloth so no matter what it's gonna be super dark compared to the factory window and it does let a little bit of light in on the sides but much better So final little piece on the outside, you can see it's all matching with the tint. Can't see in, it's very nice. And some of you may be wondering if I'm going to be adding some ProFlex. Yes I will. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helps you.